Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Breakfast with the Deacons. You're watching Trinity TV, the number one good news station in the whole of the Caribbean. And this is your favorite show on a morning. So as you wake up on a morning, and by the way, we are, you're having dinner with the Deacons later on at night. So we're on live at 7 o'clock in the morning, and we are also back on again at 9 o'clock at night. And we want to welcome you. Thank you for opening your rooms, your homes, your Facebook pages, your social media to Trinity TV, and of course your number one show, Breakfast with the Deacons. I am Deacon Derek Walcott, and I'm giving a big shout out to everybody. Everybody who watches on Breakfast with the Deacons, thank you. Please tell your young people, today we have a, 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 a young people show. You know what I mean? And you know, whenever I start Breakfast with the Deacons, I always have something from Papa Francis. Mm -hmm. and Papa Francis is speaking to young people, and he says, you matter, and you are important. Mm -hmm. And the church, Papa Francis, thinks you are important. This is Papa Francis speaking to young people. You matter, and you are important. Mm -hmm. And the church thinks that you are important. And that's the head of the Catholic Church speaking out to young people. And I have two amazing young people here with me this morning, and they're my guests. And we're going to be talking about the Catholic student movement of the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine. So these are two amazing young people at university, and we're going to be talking about this Catholic student movement and all that they're going to be doing. So I have Anna Lissard, and she is here. She is the treasurer. Anna Lissa, did I get yes, it right? Yes, good morning. Anna good morning. Lissa. And this is my son, Michael. <laughs> How are you going, Mike? Hi, good uncle. Great. And we're talking about, you know, your new fundraiser. What's this? Why are you all raising funds anyway? This is a pay for school or what? <laughs> Well, we have a lot of events at the Catholic Students' Movement, especially Open Air Mass. We're having Open Air Mass three times for the semester now. We had one in September. We have one in October as well as November. So we have various funds for that as well as we have a lot of interactive events. Mm -hmm. And uh, at our interactive events, we like to provide food for anyone that's coming because mm -hmm. we're in school whole day. Sometimes you may not have enough money to go and buy something. So we mm -hmm. want people to come feel welcomed and also feel nourished. So that's basically the main point of our fundraisers. So you're, 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 you're basically nourishing them two ways. You're nourishing yeah. them with, with, with physical bread and your, the spiritual bread. Yeah, man. Catholic students movement. I mean, I know about you all, but maybe a lot of the people mm -hmm. on Trinity TV don't know that the University of the West Indies has a Catholic yeah. students movement. Mike, what do you all do? So basically, we work in conjunction with chaplaincy, mm -hmm. and what it is we do, we are able to provide a ministry for the students of the university, and we love to say, and we, it's actually one of our mantras, that we are not just a group, but we are a family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So CSM is our family. So what it is, um, we have a lot of activities during the week. We start on, a tu on, a Wednesday, on Tuesdays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have mass at Mount Hope. From at 12.10 in the chapel there. Right. Then on a Wednesday, we have what we call a rosary by the rocks, which is basically we do a rosary in the middle of campus, yeah. out in the open. Rosary by the rocks. Yes. yes. Love that. <laughs> greens. Uh, uh. So basically, we just say the rosary together as a group so right. people can just see us. So we put ourselves out there and we call it subtle evangelization because mm -hmm. that way people might be walking past the field and they see us sprinters and they say, I wonder what they're doing there. Yeah. And then it might be Catholics, it might be non-Catholics, and they come and they ask a question, and then, you know, subtle evangelization. Right. Then um, on a Tuesday, mm -hmm. we have mass at 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. in what the, one of the lecture theaters called MLT. Mm -hmm. And then on a Tuesday evening, mm -hmm. we have prayer meeting mm -hmm. at yeah. 5 o'clock. Yeah. And then, as well, the third Tuesday every month, we have what we call interactive, which is basically after mass. We just go back to chaplain seat together. We have lunch together and just relax, chill, talk to each other, how's school going, that kind of thing. Um, on a Friday, we have Divine Mercy Rosary at 3 p.m., again, right on the rocks in the open. And every two Tuesdays, open air mass, whereby, again, it's just mass out in the open so everybody could see. And we, again, subtle evangelization. Mm -hmm. And then every third Friday is where we have a social event. So the third Tuesday, uh, the third, third Friday, sorry, in oh, September. September, we had movie nights. Mm -hmm. 
um, this Friday before that, that second week of school, we had what we call Freshers' Line, which is basically for the year one students to come in, mm -hmm. meet with us, we play a couple of games, really get them involved, yeah. and really get them excited about CSM. So next month, please God, well, this month, please God, October, we have bonfire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's just a beautiful bonfire where we do prison, we share, we play a couple of games, and it's just a really beautiful, chill vibe, so everybody to relax and be stressed from school. So we try to take care of our students' needs spiritually, socially, and just to build them holistically. So um, last year we did what we call um, burnout, mm -hmm. which is we just did some workouts together, see mm -hmm. who could get the abs first. Mm -hmm. And it's just a beautiful community, a well, family of students, really just trying to help each other through the stresses of university while making it a beautiful experience. Did you all know <laughs> that these amazing young people are doing that? I mean, just, that was like a whole mouthful. <laughs> Sounded like they were doing something like nearly every day. You know, where I had mass a couple times a week, at least three times a week I yeah. did. So where they, you know, it's not only on weekends, but you could mm -hmm. go and nourish yourself, you know, during the week. You have these little social programs where you come, you have your bonfire, you have your life. I love that by the rock. Yeah. You know, praying <laughs> the rosary, but subtle evangelization. I mean... <laughs> I've been there a couple of times, and I'm amazed too at the amount of Catholic students that are part of the CSM mm -hmm. from all over the Caribbean. Caribbean. Yeah. You know what I mean? I met a couple of my children from St. Lucia. They remember <laughs> Uncle Derek when yeah. he came up and he gave some retreat or something like that. St. Lucia, you're big in the house. <laughs> you know? And they would say, Uncle Derek, you, you came up and we had, you know, you did a retreat with us, that kind of thing. And to see that kind of bonding, you know, from all the different Caribbean islands who are studying in Trinidad, and you all have a Catholic students movement, and you're the treasurer. Yeah. I mean, just listening to all those activities, all they have money. <laughs> you know what I mean? You have to raise money because that's real. Mm -hmm. You know, because you say you're providing nourishment for them. Hey, come and eat something with us. Come on, line, and so on. So you all are having a fundraiser. What's this fundraiser all about? What's it mm -hmm. going to take? Is it a you know, in churches normally a kick sale. Yeah. I mean, go. What do you, what do you all do? Well, this year we're doing a fundraiser because we realize yes, we can have cake sales. But what I really wanted to do with our fundraiser is to allow persons, especially in Form Five and Form Six, yeah. encourage them yeah. to know about the Catholic Students Movement. So when they come into the university, wow, right. they already are a part of our family and right. they know to look out for us. Okay. So we're having a fundraiser, which is a scavenger hunt. Mm -hmm. So you'll just need teams of four to five people mm -hmm. and a car, mm -hmm. and we're sending you off to different locations around Trinidad. Around I would love Trinidad. to say Tobago, but wow. yes, okay. around Trinidad, yeah. and you're going to do fund activities at those various locations. Mm -hmm. So we can say, come to the Queen's Park Savannah yeah. and have a race. Right. And we could even make it a bit better by saying, have a race with another team. Yeah. So you're interacting with the people that are, you came with, okay. your friends or your family, okay. but you're also interacting with other teams, right. and you're interacting with the environment, and you're interacting with strangers. Right. So you're getting an, a full experience in this one day. It's gonna be on October 28th because mm -hmm. that's, that's gonna be a holiday and we're gonna get more participation because it's gonna be a holiday. But uh, it's just gonna be a very fun, engaging activity that's going to allow people to not only know about the Catholic Students Movement but also interact with other persons. Great. You know, you, you said something there that just kind of, I said, I stood up, you know, my ears kind of went up in here. <laughs> Because you're sharing with the Form 5s, the Form 5s and 6s yeah. and 4s. Listen, we have a Catholic students movement at the University of the West Indies. And you're inviting them to kind of, you know, know about you some more. And therefore, when they move into the university, they can all, they can be, they'll be attracted. Yeah. Come on, this is what we do and that kind of thing. That's, that's amazing. Do you all get an opportunity as the Catholic Students Movement to probably, and maybe I'm just rolling this out to mm -hmm. you all, to visit the secondary schools and talk to them about what you all do on campus. You know, they have like career days, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. So um, I'm, what, 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 what faculty are you in? I'm in FSCD, Faculty of Science and Technology. And what are, what are you in, Anna? I'm in the Faculty of Law. So we have a lawyer in the house and a scientist. We have a computer scientist and a lawyer in the house. That's great. 
So do you all get that kind of opportunity to go on career days and speak to students and tell them what it is you're doing and so on? So at this time, we don't necessarily go to career days. Mm -hmm. But what some schools do, for example, Holy Cross, last mm -hmm. year they had their, I believe it was their 4 one retreat. Right. And they invited CSM to come and we did um, praise and worship. We right. gave a talk. Um, actually, it was the entire school congregation as to not being ashamed of your faith. So we do right. talks. We do praise and worship. Um, there was a, last year a couple of the silver groups we went, we did praise and worship with them. Mm -hmm. So if a school mm -hmm. or some group calls and says, we want CSM to come and do a praise and worship or give a talk on this, we have so many, as you said, beautiful people in CSM. We have our president, Avery Herbert, mm -hmm. who is just so versed on the Catholic Church. And right. I mean, yeah? yeah. So he is able to um, give talks on different topics. I might be able to do one or two. And we have just so many talented people. So we have a lot of artists. We have um, Kiche Greaves, who's mm -hmm. from, I can't remember what country. Yeah. He's from up the islands, and he right. plays the um, the trombone. Mm -hmm. So our choir is yeah. made up of vocalists, right. guitar persons, piano players, Kiche, Johnny Trombone, and it's just, we have Anna, Melissa Jack, his sister, on yeah. steel pan, right. and it's just a beautiful, mixture of persons from all over the Caribbean. Like even we had mass a Sunday because we have mass on a Sunday. I actually mm -hmm. forgot to say that. Yeah, so hey, we have mass for four days a week. <laughs> <laughs> the real good. So yeah, and um, we have a guy from Bahamas, as you yeah. said, and we were able to say, hey, you okay? Your family okay? After that disaster, they had across there. And yes, yes. We do a lot, and it's mm -hmm. when you say, okay, one thing is not just Trinidadians. You'll see, you'll see people from around the Caribbean, mm -hmm. and it's such a beautiful experience really interact with them and realize that our faith is just so universal that exactly what we do here is what they do up the islands and mm -hmm. it's just a beautiful experience. I want to encourage you. I'm, I'm glad we, we, we kind of opened up the conversation like that. I want to encourage you. I'm going to encourage because I, Uncle Derek goes to a number of the schools, the secondary schools, right? Um, from St. James Sec. I'll go and visit some of the other schools, sometimes up in the east. You know, some of the, 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 the government secondary schools also, as well as the denominational schools. I, I think that that would be an amazing opportunity for you all to come on those kind of career days and talk to them. Hey, we have a Catholic students movement, you know, because there's so many Catholics. I mean, we have about, just to let you all know, over 200 and something thousand baptized Catholics in Trinidad and Tobago. Amen. 200 and something thousand, 280 something thousand baptized Catholics in Trinidad and Tobago. And a big portion of that are, um, what do we call, mm -hmm. social, um, secondary school students or university students. But that's great to get them pre-university to let them know what it is you have so that they will say, wow, I could come and get that kind of support. I could line with people who have the same kind of faith foundation. I could, you know, and you know, I'm quite sure that you all provide them with, with some kind of strength. Sometimes, you know, you're a little low. You know, sometimes you ain't going to church every Sunday. And, well, you're going to church four days a week, five days a week. <laughs> hey, you're going to lock them down. <laughs> Isn't this a wonderful... Did you all know they had a Catholic students movement at the University of the West Indies at our St. Augustine campus? Did you... What about your children? Have you ever thought about telling them, hey, go on, you know, why you don't go and check them out and see how they go in? Because I, you all, I'm sure that you all meet students who need kind of like support. Maybe they're down a little bit. Maybe they're a little depressed. They're far away from home. Yeah. You know, I mean, and all of these wonderful activities that you have is an amazing thing where they know they could come and get support. Yeah. You know, besides the activities in chaplaincy, we have a whole mm -hmm. So it's open Tuesday to Friday. So even when we don't have activities, persons can come into the hall, and usually someone is always there. Yes. So even when you feel like uh, there's no one able to support you in your own faculty, you just walk across the chaplaincy, and you always find someone who's able to talk to you. Because before I went into UE, mm -hmm. I didn't know about the Catholic Students' Movement. Right. And I spent probably a month without knowing about the Catholic Students' Movement. And after that month, after going to Rosary and after going to Mass and eventually going over into chaplaincy, it was such a better experience because you had people that not only share your faith, but you can always talk about it. So when you're saying, okay, this is what I'm going through, I'm not too sure how to 
-hmm. work with this, mm -hmm. someone, they not only give you the spiritual word, but they give you a word of encouragement, and you just realize that the conversation kind of moves from something that's kind of down, kind of sad, yeah. to a very encouraging and a very happy kind of aura that is around. So it's amazing. It's an amazing experience to be part of Catholic Students Movement. Wow. Wow. We all need kind of support us along the way. And here you have a Catholic Students Movement that is going to enrich your children's faith. Not only that, but it's also going to provide other support systems that they need. And they're in all different faculties. Mike is in computer science faculty. This young lady is in law. You know what I mean? I'm looking for her big time. Eh? But your fundraiser. What's the date of the fundraiser? October 28th. It's Monday. The Wally is the 27th. Sunday. Monday is the holiday. Right. So we're doing it on Monday the 28th. And who do you want to talk to outside there? Because there are a million people watching here, right? <laughs> you I mean, want everyone. You want everyone. So everyone can take part in this? Yes. Everyone. Young, old, in between. Everyone can take a part of it. It's fun, engaging. It's for everyone. You must have a driver. So someone must be... A designated 18? driver. Yes. Good. Right? But you must have at least one driver. You can have a team of four people or five people. How now how they get involved how do they get in touch with you so that they can say, We want to be part of that? Because we may have some and you know you have UE Form Six students also. Yeah. I mean my nephew is in UE Form Six. You know what I mean? And Dominic. Dom, I know you're watching this, right? <laughs> so he's in UE Form 6, and straight from UE Form 6, he's going straight to UE. Mm -hmm. So you have UE Form 6, you have other Catholic schools, you have the other, which are not the denominational schools, the government mm -hmm. schools. Mm -hmm. Y'all are watching on. And UE has a Catholic students' movement. And you want to, let's find out what, they, what they're all about, what kind of ministry they, they offer I heard about I heard about rosary on the rocks mm -hmm. you heard about other support services and Alyssa was telling us about you know you could come in at any time I mean this we all need uh, to be family right now they're having a big day on October the 28th yes. it's the Monday it's the Diwali holiday which is only Sunday but you know we get the holiday on the Monday <laughs> come out and support now how do they register Okay, so if you go to our Instagram page, which is csm mm -hmm. underscore sda. Mm -hmm. CSM dot sda. Oh, let me hear that. CSM dot, dot, dot sda. What's sda mean? St. Augustine. Augustine. All right, okay, I've got Because you see, we have, because CSM, CSM is not just Trinidad. We have right. CSM in Jamaica, in Muna. Wow, yeah. Um, we have CSM in Barbados, like at Cape Hill, and then even in UTT. Yeah. So we need to just distinguish a little right. bit. Okay, so we are CSM SD. You can go to our Instagram page, csm.sd, or our Facebook page, CSM um, St. Augustine. Mm -hmm. You'll find us, and all the information is there. So you'll see the flyers for the events. The fees, so from the 6th to the 20th of October, registration fee is only $400. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's a team of four to five persons. You right. all split it up how you all want. Right, right. And then from the 20th, you pay a late registration fee of two hundred and of four hundred and fifty right dollars. That's if you register late, but you have a lot of time to register right. in time. Right. And you get the rules of the competition. So for example, we want to ensure that people, persons, they obey the laws of the country. Okay. So okay. drivers, you can't go. You can't break the speed limit. limit. Exactly. Not 101, not 102, Two. 100, 100. below. <laughs> <laughs> so um, besides adhering to those rules, we have our own rules. Um, part of the competition is that in order for us to track that you complete any task, one of the persons in the group, they need to have a fully functioning smartphone right. with um, data. Mm -hmm. So that how it is. If we tell you, as an analyst said, we tell you, go to the savannah and run a race. The person who designated <laughs> as the recorder, they are going to fill right. in the entire thing, mm -hmm. um, tag, put, the, put our hashtag, tag us right. in it, at CSM, and, CSM, it and post it on their Instagram page. Right. And that is how we're going to track who it is are doing what activities. Because how it is, is not a race to see who could finish everything and come back, but it is a point system. Okay. So some tasks are rated with higher yeah, points, right, some right, with lower. Right. So you could choose to do maybe... All the high points or... Yeah. You can choose to probably do five 100 points because it's split up where there's mm -hmm. five point activities, 10, 20, 25, 100. 
because we recognize every send you to a far place, it will take a lot more out right, of you. Right. So that might be 100 points. So right. you can decide, let's do five 100 point tasks right. and head to the end location. Now the end location is a secret. It's yeah. the last clue. Right. So you're gonna have to wow. figure out these clues <laughs> yeah. and say, okay, I know, I know what they're talking about, but you can do five high points and say, that's it for the day. Let's head to the end location. Or right. let's say you do 20, yeah. 25 points. Yeah. But you have you and your team will sit down and say, okay, we're going here, we're not going here, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. So this is a fun treasure hunt kind it's of thing. It's a treasure yes. hunt because we also have a bonus part. Right? So the bonus one is it's going to be very limited locations. You have yeah. to go and you have to find something. Right? <laughs> right. It's called the find it section because we have entitled <laughs> our right. scavenger hunt finding Jesus. Yeah. And there's the find it hey, section. Finding Jesus is the name of the scavenger hunt. Find it. All of us need to find Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. No, if I win. What, what am I winning? Bananas? <laughs> up, 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 jam. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. Is, is there a prize or anything now for the winner? We have a grand prize of $5,000. Oh, good! <laughs> Hold on. I thought this thing was for free. So, wait. To enter the scavenger hunt is $400. It's $400. $400. And you could win if you win this scavenger hunt. And it's called 5, Finding Jesus. You could win how much money? You can 5, win five thousand dollars, and you can find Jesus. What? <laughs> five thousand dollars? And we also have some extra prizes. Right. We have some hampers and some vouchers. Right. If you win the bonus section, we have some. We have some great prizes. Hey, listen. You know what fees you can pay with five thousand dollars? <laughs> no, but, no, but this is amazing. So here you have the Catholic Students Movement of the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine Campus, I'm going right, right? Yes. Yeah. They are having a scavenger hunt. It's called Finding Jesus. It's fun-filled. It's on the 28th of October. That's just a couple mm. Mondays from here. And it's going to be amazing. $400 to enter. One of the members of the team, well, I, I hear the two things. One of the members of the team has to have a good working phone with data on it. To record that you're really doing what you're supposed to do. The other one has to be a designated driver. Or you can drink. <laughs> I mean alcohol, right? Good. <laughs> no Zessa pills. <laughs> Uncle Derek, no more empty. Right, good. And it's an amazing scavenger hunt. And if you win, you know, your team wins $5,000. And this is all to raise funds for the amazing things that they're doing. I mean, we heard there, you know, from Mike and Annalisa, that nearly every single day there's an activity. It might just be Rosary on the Rocks, right? It might be Holy Mass. It might be the bonfire. It might be one of the amazing things that they're doing, the fun night. I think you all have a fun night or something like that. Yeah, we had, had, a, right? had a fresher's line. Yeah. A fresher. Oh, God, I like that. Fresher's line. Me yeah, you all are freshers. Are you a fresher? No, I'm in my last year. Is that how old people are here with you? <laughs> Mike, where are you? I'm in my third year of study. Oh, good! You're in the third year of your study. You're in your last year. So you're going to be a lawyer just now? I have to go to Hewarden, but that's the hope. That's the hope. Amazing young people doing amazing things. The Catholic Students Movement of the University of St. Augustine. They have an amazing support group there. Get your people involved. Mm -hmm. You have formed six students. You have formed five students. You, you know they're involved in church. You know what I mean? You want to keep them. Hey, they need to keep involved in church. Right? It's the only way out. Right? It's the only way to find Jesus. Yes. And this is the scavenger hunt that they're putting on on the 28th of October. Anything else? They, you, they have an Instagram page. They have a Facebook page. Right? Instagram. What does it mean? <laughs> so, anything else you want to tell them about this scavenger hunt and tell them about the CSM? Right, so when you go to the Rebedi Instagram page or the Facebook page, you register online. You could register So, online. the registration link is in our bio on Instagram as well as on Facebook. So, all you have to do is click the link and you register online. Mm -hmm. um, for those who are taking part, so you really want families to get involved as well, right. so even if you have minors. All you need to do is have a signed um, parent authorization form, form and yeah. you upload it with the registration form yeah. online. Okay. So everything is, so you don't need to come and find us to give us forms or anything like that. You just find us things. So we're using technology. Mm -hmm. um, 
it's just going to be a really enjoyable experience all in all. And we really want the family to get involved because it's going to be bonding throughout the entire day. As much as you're running down to find our yeah. bonus points. prizes <laughs> or you're trying to do the different tasks, yeah. is just spending that time together, you're going to find out who know all the back roads right. in the country to get ways, you. Ways, boy, ways. Mm -hmm. Use ways. <laughs> Yeah. And all that kind of thing. So it's really just a beautiful, fun experience for everybody to have some fun, right. as well as to learn more about the country. Because, I mean, to get here to be the traffic, we take some back roads, yeah. and it's like, oh, you be too dog here. I know that. And then, so it's a, a really fun way to learn your country, to find Jesus, and wow. really to bond with your family and friends. I love this. I love this. Now, where are you going to get all your instructions on the day? So you're registering, right? So you register. Is there a starting point? Yeah. And at that starting, tell me about it. Okay. So our starting point is UE Chaplaincy because, right. again, one of the premises of it is for persons to get aware of where UE Chaplaincy wow. is and about Great. Catholic students' movement. So we start the hunt at half past eight. So we would like persons to arrive for eight o'clock because we also want to check cars. We want to ensure that all four wheels have air in it. You have a steering wheel. We want to check and ensure it have seat belts because we want to ensure everyone's safety. So we do want people to arrive 8 a.m. We have a prayer, we check everyone's cars, and we give out the clues. We will only get your list of clues about five minutes before we start. So from there at half past eight, we will begin, and you have um, between half eight and around 3 p.m., 4 p.m., to do as many tasks as you want. And then you can head to the end location, which again is a secret. And when we reach the end location, or throughout the day, we would have already been tallying points. Right. So we'll only take about half an hour, 45 minutes to finish that tallying points, and uh, the winner will be announced at the end location. Right. right. so fellowship. We have it. This is the lawyer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she went through everything. You gotta make sure your car working properly. They're gonna check all those things. They want to checking for sticker. You, you're checking for. <laughs> they're checking for sticker. <laughs> what? <laughs> you're serious? So if you, you, you if your car hasn't been inspected, <laughs> we'll inspect we it. We follow in the laws. Say, Woo, she's the ball. Woo. That's the, the legal, that's the legal head on the team. You understand? Computer science man. Yes. So your Instagram, mm -hmm. you can register. Facebook. You can register on Instagram. Not only that too, but you have to have a phone that has data on it, so you'll be tracking these people yeah. and ensuring take a little picture of what if you had to do a run or mm -hmm. whatever the case may be. Yeah. Right? It's not easy, you know. You can have it down, locked down, you know. Register online. They have an Tell them about the Instagram page again. CSM.sta. CSM.sta. S-T-A, and S-T-A is for St. Augustine, yes. right, go right. All the information is up on our Instagram pages, and you can also get our, if you have one more information, you can contact us on our Gmail account, csm.sta at gmail. We, so you can also email you too? Yes. yes. Hey, that's for old people, right? Go on to the yeah. Gmail account, csm.sta at gmail.com. That one I remember. And then, too, if you want to get more direct information and you want to give me a call, because right. I am the PR of the group, right. um, my number is 4830323. And then, when you could you give me a call, I give you the information. You could even shoot me a message on, on WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Yeah. And I can then send you the registration form, the rules of it, and everything. So, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, telephone number. <laughs> all you have everything that you all need to get involved in finding Jesus, an amazing scavenger hunt for the CSM, the Catholic Students Movement of the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine campus. Did you know, your student, you, you have children going to UE. Did you know that there is a Catholic Students Movement to support them, to guide them, to just be there for them? And they have mass four days a week, including Sundays. That's fabulous. It's been a pleasure. Looking out for that legal <laughs> person. Big Mike. I'm the busy. odd. All right. Yes. We went to World Youth Day together. That's the sum, you know. <laughs> we gone. Thank you for watching us, and we're back on again tonight at 9 o'clock. God bless you.